So what is going on everybody? Welcome to your very first tutorial of Angular 2. Well this is the hot thing going on right now and this is the future. So Angular is Angular 2 is still in beta but it's open for developers to code and try out their applications. Well we have done Angular 1 that is the Angular JS, the traditional one but this Angular 2, it is a whole nother story. This is the newest MV star framework from Google, which means model view whatever, which is the star, which that means whatever. So, what this framework is all about is that Angular guys, the people at Google, they started from the scratch down and coded this thing right there, this Angular 2 framework, which is on angular.io. And as it says that it is now in beta, so this is available for the developers to test against any functionality or any bugs they found, then they can report that and all that stuff. Well, what this Angular 2 would do is that, as you can see down here, it says that it is fast, it is mobile compatible, it is flexible, you can run Angular on server as well, and you can develop Android applications using Anic framework and angular just supports that so here are some basics we'll be covering all of that stuff and uh, yeah so angular 2 is basically very very easy than angular 1 and it is super duper easy to understand and uh, don't just you know just if you look at this this kind of looks like scary syntax and all that new stuff but don't worry this is super duper easy if you have done ECMAScript 6 of which I have tutorials as well so angular brings in support for the ECMAScript 6 which is the newest JavaScript for the web well that ECMAScript 6 is inside is in the beta version as well so you can't expect that to run on your websites but we have got something known as the TypeScript compiler and some a bunch of others as well so we'll be making use of that to work with Angular 2. So we have a lot to do in Angular 2 and uh, most of the things have changed but the basic core understanding is from Angular 1 as only so if you are just you know just watching this video and you have no idea what the heck is going on what is Angular then I guess you can stick with me for Angular 2 because you don't actually need to know about Angular 1 to learn Angular 2 but if you know Angular 1 then that would be like you know just easy for you to just pick up the concepts for Angular 2 well yeah so Angular brings in a lot of new things and I'm super duper excited to work on this web series so We'll be starting off with Angular Hello World program in the next tutorial and I'm also going to show you how to set this development environment, all of that, what this TS is, these TS files and all that in interesting stuff very soon. So that's all for this tutorial and I'll see you then real soon. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.